With Finn and Jake, you know, Adventure Time is one of those iconic cartoons. Adventure Time is one of my favorite cartoons ever, so I mean... So today I'm going to talk about what I would love to see in a live-action Adventure Time project. So right, let's start with the main cast, I guess. We have Princess Bubblegum, Finn the Human, Jake the Dog, you know, those kinds of characters. But it wasn't difficult to choose, I guess, Finn the Human as a character in live-action, because I'm going to choose Walker Scobell as, like, a Finn the Human. He looks like Finn. Human. This is of course the young version of Adam from the Adam project and yeah I just think he kind of looks like Adventure Time Finn so yeah for the second character that's of course Jake the dog and I don't think they need to replace somebody else because I mean Jake is probably going to be like CGI a CGI dog or something but yeah they can also um, well um, ask John DiMaggio to do his voice because Jake the dog's voice is iconic the third character is going to be Marceline the Vampire Queen um, yeah so I had this idea when the Batman movie came out and of course Zoe Kravitz played Catwoman in that movie and yeah I just think Zoe Kravitz looks like Marceline the Vampire Queen I have no idea why but I just think she does and I think she would be very cool in that role. The next character is going to be Princess Bubblegum. Of course I needed an actress who could play like very friendly but when she's like very angry she's like very menacing. Hopefully that makes sense, but I chose Millie Bobby Brown. I mean, she's great in Stranger Things, of course. She's also fantastic in Enola Holmes. She's like a detective in that movie, so right, that counts, I guess. But yeah, Princess Bubblegum, I think she, she kind of looks like her. She has, like, the same characteristics, so I guess, I suppose it could work. The next character was a very tough one to choose because I've, like, I still have four well, actors, I guess, who could be, like, the Ice King, who could be, like, a great... Um, representation of him but alright let's go with the first one I guess and that's of course Kurt Russell I don't know why but he kind of looks like uh, Ice King and one of my friends said he kind of looked like him so alright the second one is of course Rowan Atkinson yeah I don't know he also seems like the Ice King like he could be anything at this point because he's just an awesome actor this third one may be far stretched, but this is of course Danny DeVito. I just, yeah, the guy is an absolute legend. <laughs> and you know, Ice King as Danny DeVito would be very furry, but I think he could be serious at some point. The last one is like an honorable mention, but of course, let Tom Kenny play the Ice King. I mean, he's just a voice actor of like the Ice King when the show aired and still is, I guess. But yeah, I don't know, Tom Kenny as the Ice King is very, very legendary and could be cool. And forget our boy Bimo, you just modify like a Game Boy, turn it a bit green and just have the normal voice actors play the role as Bimo. That would be so legendary. Before we go to the main bad guy of the Adventure Time project, um, let's talk about Billy. You know Billy, the most heroic guardian or hero of U. He should be played by Keanu Reeves. I don't think anyone is going to regret this decision. I mean, Keanu is just something else, you know. <laughs> and the main bad guy of the Adventure Time project is, of course, the Lich. The Lich is everywhere in Adventure Time. She is, like, the main bad guy of Adventure Time. Could make her, like, a CGI monster like they do for every other superhero movies. Or she could be played by Doug Jones, who did, like, all sorts of freaky characters i guess from throughout movies like he did one for star trek shape of water and uh, like labyrinth i guess but like the lich is very menacing and i don't think like cgi will actually work with this one but hey who knows so all right those were the characters for locations we have like of course iconic locations from the show we have Fence Tree House, we have the Candy Kingdom, the Ice Kingdom, and some other locations that might be useful for the story. And for those sequels and spin offs, there could be like villains such as Fern, Uncle Gumbold, Magic Man, and of course Golb. But alright, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, these are just ideas, these are not confirmed. So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone.